We've got that battle between two of Asia's top. Oh, look at that right hand. I think it caught her. Mazar in trouble early. Can Olsum capitalize here? I think Olsum hurt her with that right hand. You could see Mazar drop to her knee. Now she's trying to attempt a front headlock, and she might be underneath the chin here. She might be able to switch, drop to her back, and finish this guillotine. But look, she's transitioning into a Dars. Let me tell you, folks, if Olsum beats Mazar here tonight, it would be considered an upset. What a cracking start here from Janelin Olsum. The knees now from the Filipina into the ribs of the Brazilian. I think Olsum might be giving Mazar a chance to get her wits back. She, I guess she's kneeing her from the bottom here. Mitch, would you break off? Would you go back to your striking here against Mazar? That's what was working. That's what hurt her earlier. Yeah, I think she caught her flush on the chin, which made her take that knee. And now Olsum is just trying to touch her up with those knees. Nice little shoot in there from Mazar. But I think Olsum's just gonna, attempting to squeeze on that choke. Don't grab the shirt, don't grab the shirt. Well, will they rue the technique of General and Olsum when this one's all over? Could she have finished Myra Mazar had she not locked up with her? She might continue here from Olsen. She might know something we don't, Michael, because she is attempting to take Mazar out with these knees, and she's got a really tight grip. You can see she's got almost kind of like a reverse sleeper hold on Myra Mazar. And now she breaks. Here's the distance now. Now the striking, a Muay Thai champion versus a Sander champion. Mazar wants to use straight, clean punches because she knows that Olsen comes a little bit wide with her punches. Both in orthodox stance, outside leg kick misses there for Jenilyn Olsen. Been a great first round for Jenilyn so far. Myra gets out of the way of the jab, drift back to center circle, 240 remains in the first. Myra just taking some time to recompose herself here. What was really impressive last month in that great TKO victory in the third round was the way that Myra listened to everything her corner said, Mitch. Yeah, and right now, I believe that's a lady. Oh, 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 another! Smack bang on the kiss of the right hand from the Muay Thai champion, Jenilyn Olsen. Ah, Ooh, Olsen's got a hammer in that right hand. Are we in for a shock? Are we in for an upset? Up kicks here from Myra Mazar. My word, uh, what an opening round. The sledgehammer of the right two. hand from Jenilyn Olsen. Yeah, Olsen needs to let her get up and stay on this with that right hand. Just keep touching her. But Mazar's a veteran. She knows what she's doing in there. Might have hit a poke. Time. Well, poke in the left eye. Rich Franklin, did you see that one? Yeah, it was, it was definitely a poke, accidental poke at that, but uh, she'll have the duration of the round if she needs to to recover from here. I've actually been poking the eye before. If it's a really bad poke, uh, you have the, in, in, in an ability to actually focus with that eye, so it causes a lot of depth perception issues for the athlete. Olsen has performed so far. As we take a look at this uh, this uh, accidental, there it is, the finger poke to the eye, just accidental from Chinlin. Elated, like you said, but I'm not surprised because Jinlin is one of those people yeah, that always stands in the fingers, pocket. Okay? You can see them from the beginning of her performance here. Not a lot of head movement, not a lot of foot movement. She's just going to throw down on the inside. Ready? Ready? She's catching Myra. Two. We recontinue first round. It's been all one-way traffic to Jinlin Olsum of the Philippines. Outside leg kick from Myra Mazar of Brazil. Outside leg there from Jinlin. Flash of leg kicks. You know, Jenilyn has taken a year off, and it looks like that time away has done her some good. She's been adding a strength and conditioning program out there at Team Lakai, and we are seeing the fruits of her labor with that right hand. Jenilyn is the Philippines National Muay Thai champion. Myra Mazare, Pan Am, South American and National Sander champion. Awesome's coming right over that jab. She counters that jab. Beautiful with that right hand over the top. Myra Mazar has got to make sure she gets that hand back fast. Jab from Myra, rib kick there from Jenilyn. Jenilyn's last two bouts were in Singapore. Good popping right hand there from Myra. High head kick from Jenilyn, trying to control center circle. Only has half as much professional experience as Myra Mazar. Mazar, number five, ranked in the first round. 
This would be an upset if Jenilin beats Myra tonight. So far, so good for the Filipina. Tags her again with that right hand. You can see the way that Mazar enters the pocket. She's just staying in there, engaged in that firefight. And that's when Olsen's able to touch her with that right Thanks hand. Again. Myra, Myra's got to have a little bit better head movement, get into the pocket, and then start circling out. Nice high kick off the left leg. Sprung well to Jenilin. Time. Judging criteria, so she's ahead on my scorecards. Second round of three. Beautiful front kick. Oh, that was perfectly placed from Jenilin. The timing, exquisite. Now Myra, off her back. Will Jenilin allow her to stand? Leaps in there, ground and pound. Hammer fist strikes up the right hand. Jumps in with a fly knee and then goes after a toe hold. That was wild. Was that a smart one though, Mitch, or should she have stayed standing? Should she have allowed Myra back to her feet to engage her in the striking? She's having a lot of success on the counter-striking angle here. But I like the innovation that she's trying to do. The toe hold looked to be like it could have been the wrong way. I think she was just trying to maybe stretch out the calf of Myra Mazar, but she nailed the fly knee inside the guard though. This is all part of the new generation of Team Lakai who are dynamic, who are exciting, like Lito Adewang, Channel and Olsen. They're bringing something that the other guard didn't. They're bringing just more excitement, more repertoire, more technique, more fun ways of finishing people. I <laughs> like the passion lock from Joshua Fascio. They make things up on the fly. <laughs> Myra Mazar needs to try and turn the tide, but the question is, Dragon, how does she do that? She's got to take this thing to the ground. She's got to utilize some of that, uh, those Sonda takedowns to maybe get in nice and tight. When she's inside the pocket, stay there. Get nice and tight inside that clinch, and then press her up against the wall, just like she's doing now. Now she can look for a takedown, but those knees hurt. Beautiful Muay Thai clinch and gut munching knees. Belly button through the back there from Jenilyn Olsen. Olsen has an answer for everything. When Myra Mazar did try to engage inside the clinch, Olsen tied up the head inside that Muay Thai clinch and started delivering those knees. This girl is fun, folks. She is fun, Jenilyn Olsen. Only 23 years old. 12 years the younger of Myra Mazar. And what ownership so far from the Filipina. But Myra Mazar far from done. She's got experience on the feet and on the ground. Myra Mazar can put this one over with one strike, with one takedown. But can she find it? See, that's how she's getting nice and tight. She's staying in that side of that pocket. She needs to keep Olsen on the back foot. She needs to put those combinations together. Maybe even start mixing inside the kicks with these combinations. Outside leg kick from Myra. Has Jenilin on the outside at the moment. Jenilin circling into the right hand, going the wrong way. That was a good right hand landed by Mazar, though. Entered that pocket, started letting go of those hands. You can see how um, Olsen's kind of parrying down the punches, and she's countering very well to Mazar's content, uh, you know, cut combinations. The output from Jenlin, not as much over the last 60 seconds as it was earlier, Dragon. Yeah, because you can see Mazar is starting to put combinations together. She's not just throwing one or two shots. She's putting together multi-string combinations. Big outside leg kick, takedown almost there from Myra, but Jenlin stays on her feet, Muay Thai clinch, knee to the midsection, and Myra wisely breaks off. Myra still controlling center circle, pressing Jenlin to the outside, really for the first time in this match. In the first round, it was Jenlin Oslin who was controlling center circle. So you can see Olsen's trying to counter punch. She's trying to pull Myra Mazar in and then counter off of her shots. She take her down here, Myra. One, tw one ten remaining, second round of three. Some better signs from Myra in the second round, Dragon. Good takedown defense so far. Instead of pummeling in and going to a 50-50 position, Olsen tries to frame off with that high clinch. That's, very, that's been very successful takedown defense for Olsen is to uh, transition into that Muay Thai clinch instead of pummeling in. Rich Franklin, that Muay Thai clinch and knee has to be scoring for Olsen, right? 
Definitely. You know, Olsen's still doing a good job of putting combinations together, but right around the three-minute mark of this match, Maeda started picking up her combinations, putting things together in uh, bunches. But still, Jinlin's doing a good job of dictating where she wants the match to be. She's defending the takedowns, keeping it standing. 30 seconds her output is just dropped off a little bit. I would be careful if I was her, though, because we saw Maeda land that right hand before, and she is, holds her head high, especially when she disengages from these combinations. And she stands a chance, especially as Maeda is getting more and more aggressive of getting caught as she's exiting one of these combinations. Final stage into the second round. Take Ten down second. there from Mara Mazar. Inside the guard of Jinlin Watch Olsen. Of the head. That's going to score right there. Finally, Mazar was able to Time. earn her circle side and helping us score tonight's bout. And this is a superb performance so far from 23-year-old Jinlin Olsen of the Philippines. <laughs> Right hand there from Myra Mazar, trying to hold on to her number five ranking in the strawweight division, where the champion is the unflappable Zhang Jinnan. All tied up here. Chance for knees if she can get them for Chinlin Olsen. Nice to take down from Myra. Beautifully done there. But look don't, 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 don't. Oh, she tapped her out! She tapped her out! Can you believe it? It's the shot! It's the shot! Oh, Myra Mazar fell into the trap laid by Jalen Olsen. She tied up the neck with that deep choke. And then when Mazar spun her around and put her down, the choke got even tighter. She had that deep, and as soon as it hit the ground, oh, the beauty. Look at that. Standing choke from the top. Myra Mazar tried to jump over. Here's Jenna Lynn flipping over to the side. The choke got so deep from the bottom. Hey, Rick Franklin, you just jumped out of your seat. I did. But you know, I said this at the beginning. I'm a, I'm a fan of Jenna because she's well rounded and she's aggressive. And she showed that in this match. Striking superiority. She was out striking Myra the entire time. And then she went. For your winner, by way of submission. Jenilyn Olsen! Well, now to gate. Certainly in a lot of countries right now, but not in the Philippines and certainly not in Baguio City because this girl is talented. It was the performance of a lifetime.